Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Yappa MC and we're playing Stoneblock 3 and working our way through the Getting Started quests. In the last episode we learned about drippers and started the create mod with a millstone. If you missed last episode you can click the info card that popped up at the top of the screen. Also you can click the playlist and catch up with everything. In this episode we will be continuing with the create mod on learning how to get resources. As I was preparing for the next episode, I started making quite a few changes. And then I decided that it would be something that you would like to see in a time lapse. So I went back to a previous backup, reversed everything out, and I will do it again. Only this time on a time lapse. So let's go. welcome screen said that it was andesite nether the end but as i go out here to the exploration it says the center slice is made of stone 55 blocks tall above and below zero and above and below that are the andesite so I should have been heading up or down instead of out. So I can get iron nuggets to make the andesite alloy. So let's get some gravel. Then we can smelt it. And then break those down into nuggets. And then make andesite. Typical Minecraft, do this, to do this, to do this, to do that. And ultimately you wanted that. All right, that should be more than enough for now. All right, good thing I brought two. And I will throw this in here and I will be back. So I ended up getting 19, oops, 19 uh, iron out of that one. So I'm going to grab some of it going to go make nuggets and grab andesite and then we're going to combine them for andesite alloy like we've done earlier so i need to do a few casings so let's just grab some oak logs here I guess there's quite a few of those come up here where there's level ground and no carpet and everything and let's see we need to strip the logs not put a torch 
and turn them all into andesite casings and still not put a torch. All right, let's move these out of my offhand so I don't keep placing torches accidentally. I will need some shafts. We'll look up mechanical press. There it is. So it's just a shaft, a casing, and a block of iron. I don't have enough for a bolt. Do I have some in here? I do. All right. I'm just going to have to run back and grab some that was still smelting, but I made it. So we have this, this, and this, and voila. Mechanical press. And let's do, I think it's a, yeah, andesite alloy, andesite casing to get a depot for it to smash on. And technically, that's all I need for machines to move forward to get the fan. Question is, where do I want to put it? Let's grab this hammer. And I'm going to build out a spot I guess we'll just do it behind here. And we're going to put some water wheels in here. Because they're the easiest. Um, to generate power right off. Since I can't do windmill bearings and stuff, I don't think. I can look at that later, but... So let's look up what water wheels require. The water wheel, a large cog wheel surrounded by slabs. And to get a large cog wheel, we can either do a small cog wheel, and a plank, or a shaft and two planks, which ultimately if we look at the cogwheel, it ends up being a shaft and a plank. So it ends up being six of one, half dozen of the other. So let's just do it this way. Um, what, four water wheels maybe? And I didn't even... What am I doing? I need to do this. Now I do this. Three. No, it didn't quite make it. So I have three water wheels. I wonder if I can mix them. Let's find out. Use those four. I can. Nice. So if we want to do this, let's put water wheels in here. Let's have them face two, three, four. Yeah, let's have them face this way. And to get them to turn, you can see where the little catch is to catch the water and turn. We need to contain the water from flowing around back by putting blocks here. It'll actually clip through the blocks without a problem. So we won't have to worry about that. Right now we will block the water from flowing where we don't want it to go. And let's go get buckets. And where did I put them? There they are.
and we have rotational force. Yes. Let's go get two more buckets. The additional water wheels won't create faster spin, but it does create additional force so we can run more machines with the four water wheels. And let's grab some stone and contain this with stone because that looks better. And we might as well just close the front. Let's do this. Actually, that's what I should do to make it look even better. I was look, checking to see if I had any left. I don't. So let's do this. We're going to make. All right. Then we'll go in here. Make it look a little better. that there and put that there and now if you come to the side you'll see we have the shaft right here that we can access that way we'll have rotational force generally i like to speed it up a little bit the problem with that is if you speed it too fast then you overstress it easier the more machines you add so it's kind of a Kind of a toss up, I was going to say, because if you go too high, it looks fun because it spins so fast, but you have to build more and more each machine that you put on there. And we can add a cog wheel off to the side here. Actually, let's put it off the back will give us more room. If it's hard to tell, let's push this wall out a little bit more. But you can see the small cog is moving faster than the big, obviously, for size differences. And then if I wanted to, I could put another big off of here and a small off of that and make it turn even faster. But for now, I'm going to leave it at that. Let's pull this wall out. And then we can tie off of this to get the rotational force out this direction. If I want to, I can, oh, why did that's what I thought. These like gearboxes and stuff. But I'm actually debating. I think I want to just go ahead and start building some areas down here where I will have the machinery. I don't have to have it up on this level. So I'll just kind of fill this floor in a little bit and then we'll put the machine out here. And just to make it easy for now so we can move forward, I'm going to grab the depot there it is it was hiding put it right here no now I am too high all right maybe I will do this gonna make some more shafts make another cog come off of the cog wheel up here. And now I can put the depot there, the mechanical press there, and you can see it's turning. We have rotational force. We needed four iron plates. And as soon as I put this on this depot, this will come down and start smashing it. Bonk.
And then when it's done with all of the items that's below it, it'll stop. So then you can just go right click and pick them up. And you have your plates. Now to make the fan, we have to do the center with andesite alloy, put the blades around the edges and make the fan. To make the encased fan, you put the casing that will go around it, the shaft, and essentially mash it together to make an encased fan. And this will need rotational force, but we will have to get it down to this level. So what do we have here? Let's go into create. We've made a water wheel. We've made the mechanical press. Now, if we go to getting started, we've made the encased fan. Using the encased fan, we can wash to get other resources. It says we can wash to get resources. So let's go look. The encased fan in here to see what it's used for. We can do bulk washing to get all kinds of things like uh, sand, for instance. We can get copper, gold, all these resources here, including clay. And let's see, is there anything else? All these are one to one. End stone, we can get some stuff once we finally get out there. Crushed end stone, that is. Uh, gravel. Gravel, we can get diamonds, emeralds, and these other things. So we want to wash gravel and sand, it looks like. Um, once we wash gravel, sand, oh, and dust, we can wash dust to get redstone. So, all right, I'm going to wrap up the episode at this point. So I want to thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please remember to click the subscribe button and leave a comment telling me your favorite part. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.